Hey guys, let's talk about fluid flow. So what do we call a flow? Imagine that you have a bucket that is full of water and you are standing here right and you hold the bucket like this and you start moving to the right and after some time you put the bucket here and stand smiling oh something is missing I missed the hair <laughs> right okay so do we call this flow the water has moved from this place to this place but it did not move by itself you actually carried the water so this is not flow now imagine that this bucket falls and the water spills out and starts moving in this direction now this is what we call flow the fluid itself should start moving it should not be carried let's take some examples river water is it a flow yes because the water is moving by itself wind is another example before we start studying fluid flow I need to tell you about one assumption that we consider and that is the fluid is incompressible let's understand what that means imagine you have a container that contains some fluid maybe water and that it has a platform on top of it and then you stand on this platform a mischievous little guy and you try to press it very hard now however hard you try you find that you are not able to compress the liquid you find that the platform is not going down what does this mean in physics so when something is incompressible and we have a fixed mass of that substance we say that the density of the fluid is constant so this is the assumption with which we proceed that the density of the fluid is constant let's talk about the types of flows now now have you seen a river that is flowing in the plain areas you will find that the river flows very smoothly like this and if you observe the same river in the mountain regions you will find that it makes waves like this and then there and it goes there and so the flow is very irregular type so this kind of flow where some everything is very smooth this is known as a streamline flow yeah and we also call it the steady state flow and on the other hand where everything is so random we call it a turbulent flow now think which of these two the streamline or the turbulent can you study easily obviously the streamline flow it is the more predictable kind of flow and therefore for our purposes we will pick the discussion on streamline flow for the rest of the video on to the streamline flow then now what we have learned so far is that this flow is smooth and regular so let's imagine that we have a pipe and a fluid is entering that pipe in a very smooth manner and coming out so this kind of flow is called a streamline flow now let's zoom over it and see what's actually going on inside here now to understand this better I have selected mr. fluid particle he is going to help us understand what actually is going on inside here so as the fluid flows inside the pipe mr. fluid particle enters now he is here and 
you see the path that he is tracing now i am drawing those paths right now and you can see that the fluid particle is traversing on its own path it is not changing its lane so what we gather from this is that the fluid particle does not jump lanes it goes on its own path and so what we gather from here is that two streamlines will never intersect each other why is this so because each particle follows its own lane so if you imagine lots of vehicles going on in different lanes they will not collide until they jump lanes which does not happen in a streamlined flow now let's look at the second point let's say mr fluid particle is here and he is followed by his brother and let's take a point here now when mr fp reaches this point we find that his velocity is 2 meter per second and then he crosses over what will happen when his brother reaches the same exact point he will also have the velocity 2 meter per second that is to say that the velocity at a particular point on the streamline is constant and finally let's say that we have a streamline like this and mr fluid particle is standing right over here and if we want to know in which direction is mr fluid particle moving right now we can find that direction by drawing a tangent at this point that's right the tangent to the streamline at any point gives the direction of velocity tangent to the streamline this also proves one of the points that we made earlier and that is two streamlines can never intersect let me show you how imagine that you have two streamlines streamline 1 and streamline 2 which are intersecting at this particular point and if you ask this point hey mr point in which direction are you moving then because of streamline 1 this point will say that its velocity is in this direction and because of streamline 2 it will think that velocity is along this tangent and the point and of course you will also get confused this is not the property of a streamline a streamline should be predictable it should always let us know in which direction the particle is moving and therefore this is not possible so guys that was all about streamline flow in the next part of this series i will talk more about equation of continuity if you found this video useful leave me a like and subscribe to my channel i will be uploading more content soon see ya